We're going to go now to a segment recorded on location in Stone Harbor, New Jersey, where we'll meet some RCGC marine science students and the tiny turtles they're working to protect. We're here at the Wetlands Institute in Stone Harbor, New Jersey, and we're looking for turtles with RCGC's marine science students. We're actually with the Wetlands Field Ecology course that we hold in the fall. It's our second year course for the marine science program for our students to get an opportunity to interact with field studies. We have worked with uh, students at um, RCGC for the past couple years. We have them come every year uh, for their classes just as part of a, their uh, class to learn what it is that we do here at the Wetlands Institute to um, get hands-on experience doing research and collecting data um, and to learn about you know why the salt marsh is important so yeah I think it's been pretty rewarding for them and uh, it's definitely rewarding for us as well. Today was really fun we actually went and there's excluders they find a nest and they put a cage over it to keep predators out and hopefully the eggs will surface and this is like perfect season for them to start hatching so we walk around every day there's some on the trail there's some on the property and we just check them if there's an egg we actually cut the top off we recover the turtle that was hatching and we have to mark what excluder it came from and these get checked multiple times a day so that the turtles have a better chance of surviving uh, we check their predator exclusures uh, we made sure that if they were there we took them out so that way we can measure them and uh, keep them safe. So we looked at anomalies or like oddities in their shells and things like that to make sure they're developing correctly. Or some people bring turtles from the road that have been hit so they try and recover eggs and we see that when they have those anomalies that obviously something was messed up in their like production stage and everything so we just make sure that they're still able to live and then we'll be able to free them and hopefully keep the population up. So anybody who's interested in science in any way can take this course. It's not just a major's course, and you also get the opportunity to have hands-on experiences in science. I'm a physics major. Um, I want to join the Air Force and be a fighter pilot. I needed to do this to fill a requirement for my class, but I thought, why well, sit in a bio class looking through a microscope? Because that's not really that fun. I could come here, play with turtles, play with the fish, um, look at the birds. You know, it's going to be fun. Last week we did sanding, which is we go out in the, into the water and we take a net out and we kind of pull it in and bring all the, to count like, to document the fish that we find. And what we were going through and we found uh, this one fish, it's a pipe fish. And it was like, I picked it up and it was like real bony, but it could, it wrapped around my finger and stuff. And it was, it was the funnest thing. Cause it was just like, this is just what we're doing. This is class. Like, come on. Uh, we're actually the only um, community college in New Jersey that has an associates in marine science. Uh, we've sent students to Rutgers, New Brunswick. We've sent them to Stockton. Uh, we've sent students down to Florida, uh, actually up to Maine last year. One of my students graduated and she's in Maine. Um, and it basically, it's the first two years of science. So you don't even have to go into marine science after these first two years. This is just giving you a very secure, solid science background for your first two years at a community college. And you get field study in addition. Uh, and then you can move on and do anything that you want, whether it be biochemistry, genetics, or marine biology in the future. I'm actually majoring in marine biology. It's been, that's been my decision since freshman year of high school. I love animals, working with them. I thought about being a vet, but I could never put an animal down. So this is like an easier part for me to get into the conservation, helping them. Like I love turtles, so that's actually something I want to do. And I have a friend actually working in Costa Rica at the moment and he's working with leatherback hatching and he said that was welcome for an internship so after i graduate do grad school hopefully going down international and conserving uh, i love marine animals i always have it took a while to get there my hero growing up was steve Irwin, so i've always wanted to do what he did and just inspire other people to love animals as much as i do um, my plans for the future would be to work at a zoo, aquarium, a museum, anywhere that I could help people understand about these creatures, be interactive with them, and because um, people really care about animals and they get really interested in them when they are interacted with them.